Here we go. <laughs> I'm here with Chef Lynn from Lynn's Soul Food Delight. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Well, I want to say you got an incredible spread going on right now. Thank you. Everything looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so it's much. It's incredible. Presentation layout looks great. Everything in general. Thank you. Can you Thank tell me a little bit about Lynn Soul Food Delights? Yes. Okay. So Lynn Soul Food Delights originated from um, me just taking heed into what my grandmother and my mother and all of them used to do as far as um, just serving the Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas area with good soul food from down south because they are from uh, Tennessee. So um, basically I just took that up under my belt and move forward with it in my own little style. So yeah, so this is where we at now in the new millennium with it. I see, I see. Yeah. Growth and development. Yes, most definitely so. At its best. Yeah. What got you into cooking and wanting to be a chef? I'm going to say just how food brings people together. You know, and food makes people happy. So, I mean, and one thing about food is you can't go without it. You can't live without it. You, you're going to have to eat food. So, <laughs> if it's good, you keep coming back. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so I'm all about good food. It's one of the best experiences to have. You know, some of the best memories are made with food. That's right. Exactly, yeah. So... That, I think that's where it's rooted from. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like to. And then I, I do a lot of uh, charity too, like for the homeless and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So on the side of me, still serving my community, you know what I mean? I still um, do a lot of charity. So yeah, food is, food is, I always brought people together. That's my main thing. It makes people happy. Right. When you're preparing this dish for K our clients what's going on through your mind when you're doing it like how do you get so focused how do you mentally prepare for this cooking these fantastic meals it's all about love all my food is cooked with love you know what i mean so um no matter what the occasion is or what's going on in the moment you know what i mean when i'm cooking that's like my outlet you know what i mean so and i like to use that outlet a lot so I'm obsessed with it actually. So when I get in there, it's just I'm free. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. You know how you are when you're passionate about something. <laughs> you're, in, you're in your own zone. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When preparing these dishes, like, what motive do you have to, for preparing them? Like, the presentation that layout, do you, like, uh, how do you put it together? Because it looks very, it looks fantastic. Like to spread everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What are what are the key steps that you go through when putting all this together? Um, I would say it's it's really pretty simple. I, I make it look like how I want my plate to come out looking when I go to the restaurant. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the truth. Like. Whatever is appealing to me, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, it got to be appealing to another human being's eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's basically what I uh, base my presentation off of. Yeah. Can you explain to, can you explain to the audience how important it is to have mentors? Who taught you how to do all this? Yes, it's definitely important to take notes and take heed to the people who have already been doing this, who have already been in any kind of field that you are getting into. It's good to take that feedback from them, the uh, positive criticism, all of that. It's good to take all of that with you because it makes you stronger. It makes you more focused. You know what I mean? You can take some things with you that um, you didn't know before. And it also is beneficial for you in the long run. So, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like to listen to other people when they try to tell them, you know, and they already been in that, in that field, but it's always good to take heed to that type of stuff. I look at it this way. Every day is a new day and we can never stop learning. You cannot. You can learn every day. It's something new to learn every day. Every day. I agree with that. Yeah. Especially surrounding yourself by mentors, people that know it, mm -hmm. because you can feed off each other's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. It's a blessing just to have people around you that are willing to even uh, share what they know, share their knowledge with you. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people 
a lot of people hold in that knowledge. They don't want to share it with each other, especially uh, in the black community. So, yeah, I'm grateful for that, thankful for that, humble for that. Yeah, most definitely so. Right. Thank you for all the people who have given me any kind of insight or any kind of guidance um, towards my business. I appreciate you. That's a thank you to y'all. Yep. Man, how important is customer service to you? Customer, customer service, service is number one to me. If the customer is not satisfied, then Houston, we have a problem. Okay? I'm either going to reimburse you or I'm going to make sure that I can make sure that I uh, re-prepare your dish and make sure that you're satisfied with it the second time around. Which that hasn't happened to me that many times, but it has happened before. So, yep. Sure, sure. As long as you can settle with some type of reimbursement, some type of gift, or mm -hmm, anything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. customer will be It's happy. all about making it right, though. It's all about yes. making it right. So, you know, whenever I go out, you know, whatever I expect when I go into a restaurant is what I is what I uh, reciprocate with my customers. You know, I don't come with a bad attitude. I don't be rude. You know what I mean? Any of that. And even if uh, you place an order and you don't get your order, and there was some kind of miscommunication or whatever, I still would try to make it right for you. So that's just how I operate with my business. That's going to be when I do up my restaurant, that's going to be my number one thing. I'm going to have customer service like Chick-fil-A because they say Chick-fil-A is customer service is A1. So, yeah. <laughs> right, right, hey. Yeah. Right, A1. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That means attitude. nobody's getting hired if you have an attitude. Take note. Sure. If you have an attitude, you wake up every day. And you got to add to it every day, you will not be getting hired in my establishment. I know that's right. You got to love what you do. Like yeah, you exactly. Exactly. You got to love what you do and yeah. just put passion into it. So Most definitely so. Every day with a bad attitude. <laughs> uh, the it's time. people like that. Yeah, people it's like people that. like that. So, I mean, and it's more than what we what we can see with, the, with our eyes. Yeah. Because we only experience it when we meet these people. You know what I mean? We're not thinking that people are actually it's a lot of people that's actually like that but they are right yeah no, a whole lot of negative people so a whole lot it's a whole lot of those so yeah. so yeah. it's like you gotta separate those negative people in order to get the good ones mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i agree i agree how did you come up with your name Lynn soul food I Lynn like soul food um uh, my name is melanie and my middle name is lynn so that's where lynn came from and my uh special uh i specialize in soul food cuisine so that's where the soul food came from and you're gonna be very delighted when you taste my food that's so that's where the delights came from so there you go right right mm -hmm. growing up as a young lady did you start off cooking or has this always been a passion or is this something that came i've to been you? cooking since i was a little girl yes but i didn't think it was gonna be what it is today no I, I I didn't think that. No, I didn't. I don't think I was thinking that far along. You know what I mean? In, in my youth days. Yeah. If you could tell your younger self anything, or give your younger self any advice, whether it be three years ago, ten years ago, five five years ago, what would you say? I would say whatever you want to do, don't stop doing it. You can do it. You can make it. Uh, consistency is the key. Dedication is the key. Um, don't let nobody talk you out of your dream. You know what I mean? It don't matter if don't nobody else believe in you. Don't nobody else think that it's going to happen for you. If you stay consistent with what you want, you're going to get it. You're going to succeed. And the people who are doubting you in the end going to see you at the finish line. Right, right. That's, what I, that's the advice I would give myself. What's the feeling like when a customer eats your dish and they just feel the ultimate satisfaction? How do you feel? <laughs> I feel good. Yeah, that's the best feeling. <laughs> it really is. Um, I actually just uh, prepared a Christmas dinner for uh, a gentleman who lost his mother. And they called me back and wished me a Happy New Year's. So that let me know, you know what I mean, that they enjoyed the food, you know, and that um, what I did was worth doing, you know. Because I, I didn't even cook for Christmas. I didn't cook anything for myself for Christmas. But I ended up making dinner for this family, so... That's a beautiful thing, just giving back. Mm -hmm. you definitely have a good heart. Yep. yep. And yep. One thing about that's God. That's God. He get all the glory for that. He get all the glory for it. 
That's God. It's, that's Him in, in me, working in me, using me as a vessel. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. God is definitely using you as a vessel. Most definitely a vessel so. to touch many people. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Can you get it? It's almost like the client, they, 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 the client, the customers, they almost become like family. To yes, they do. Most definitely so. Most definitely so. My clientele is definitely uh, increased. I so. So, uh, yeah, they. I, I got them coming back. That's for sure. That's for sure. And that's what I like. That's how you know you're doing it. You're doing what you're supposed to do when they coming back. Can you explain how important marketing, advertisement, marketing investing? Is very, very important. Marketing is like one of the number one things for your business. Um, promotion, um, investments. I mean, and it costs money. I mean, it, it really do. Like, especially if you. Um, Aren't already entitled to inheritance or anything like that, and you just actually using your own pocket money, your own employment money from wherever you working or you're employed from. Yeah, it's definitely a struggle, but like I said, um, God will provide. Make sure you put your investments towards your business if you really want to see your growth in your business. If you don't put that investment towards it, you're not gonna see it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's very important. Very true. You have to invest in order to develop. Yeah, that was definitely so. In order to develop and succeed into a business. You got to take some risk. Yeah. That's basically the bottom line. You got to take some risk. Yeah, you got to be a risk taker for this. True. Yeah. There's a lot of scary people that don't want to take it. <laughs> it's a lot of scary people. A lot of them. Well, they still on the porch. Well, they on the porch and I'm down the street. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm down the street. So, to me, to anybody still on the porch, and sometimes the people on the porch don't want to listen at all. They don't, they really don't. You can That's tell true. Them. That's true. <laughs> That's true. What do they say? What do the old people say? Back in the day, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. True. Okay. Yeah, those are facts. Okay. Facts. <laughs> so, let's let them be. And we're going to move on, keep on moving, because in a minute, they ain't going to be able to see us at the end of the block. Because we're going to be on the next block. <laughs> moving too fast. Moving too fast, exactly. Moving in slow motion. Yeah. It's almost like a fantasy world they're living in. Mm -hmm. Waiting for mm -hmm. something to be given. Yes, to yes. They also, it's also like they feel entitled to it, too. Like you owe them something. Yeah. And entitlement is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Nobody owes you nothing. Nothing. And if you don't want to work for it, I don't know how you figure you're going to get it. Right. Oh, they want to win the lottery. <laughs> That's what they want to Well, do. we do too. But we until do. I win, right. what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep on hustling. Right. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to keep on doing what I need to do to pay these bills. Well, I like that porch mentality that you. That you represented. Like people are still on the porch. They still on the porch. And they're just still waiting. I ain't even waving at them no more. I'm just going on. I'm about to hit the block on them. <laughs> no, they watching. They watching. Right. Well, they gonna have to be looking through the trees and through the through the sideboards now to see me. Seem like a great chef. Great Thank entrepreneur. You. Thank Selling. You. Thank you. Thank Have you, you ever had some haters just come at you like, <laughs> any type of way? Like, yes. Any type of negative energy? Yes. Can you, can I you? love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Can you explain it drives me. It gives me more drive. Come on now. The more they hate, the more I know I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes. I love that. Keep on hating on me. Yes. They doing their job. I'm going to keep on doing mine, not hating. Yeah. We even. There you go. <laughs> well, I love the fact that you you embrace the hate. Because I embrace the of, hate. A lot of people let the hate and the negative energy just tear no, down. Mm -mm, and come come on, bring it on. Ooh. No, bring on the hate. I like bring that. it on because the haters will be in my restaurant too. Tearing my food up. Very true. <laughs> I'm just saying. These are facts. I'm just saying. Very true. They'll be there. I think the haters are the biggest fans. They right? are. They are. Like they'll be. They'll yeah. They'll be in the line talking crap, but yeah. still be in there giving me their checks. So I ain't gonna worry about it at all. Money's all the same. Hey, I don't feel money. nothing. I don't feel nothing from the haters and the, and the not haters when the, when the money comes. It looks the same, feel the same, go in my pocket the same, and I spend it just the same. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
Exactly. Mm. These are all facts. <laughs> I said these are all facts. These are all facts. Hey, that's my life. Man, come into the game. I see all of this right now. It's beautiful. Thank you. The whole presentation layout. Man, what was it like with you coming up as a start starting your business? My what number one fan, my my husband, he pushed me. Yeah, that's my number one fan right there. He's my, my guinea pig. He eats all my food, the good and the bad. Poor baby. I love you, babe. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he pushed me. Can you explain how important it is for a spouse to support in a relationship? It's definitely yes. important. It's definitely important. He he actually pushed me and, and helped elevate me. So, you know what I'm saying? All praises to him. Oh, he's a good dude. He's a good man. So, yeah, he he like don't give up. If you don't give up, then you, you know what I mean. If you do give up, you ain't gonna never see where it really could have went. You know what I mean. If you stop right now, you gonna never know. And then um, my business actually took off during the pandemic. So, when everything was shut down, that's when my business actually started to elevate. Very true. Yeah. I think a lot of entrepreneurs in Kansas City and all over the world, that's when everything started. Yeah, yeah. and it was like, it basically was like an eye opener to me. Like, okay, so now that everything is shut down and all this attention is on your business, here you got the clientele, the clientele is coming in. Sure. You see what I'm saying? So now, 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 what excuses do you have not to? Not to uh, complete your assignment. What mm -hmm. what what excuses do you have? Right. So, yeah. Right. And I think in the pandemic, it was such a blessing because everybody was sitting inside the house. Mm -hmm. So for entrepreneurs like us, we didn't really sit inside the house. No. We, we found a way to bring the business mm -hmm. to the ones sitting inside mm -hmm. the house mm -hmm. and then to bring them more enjoyment. Hey, yeah. come come eat this food. Right. Come take this picture. Yeah. All so of that. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. Most definitely so. And people was doing it too. Like I said, while the people were still on the porch in the house, we got <laughs> them working during the pandemic. <laughs> I was with you. Yep, yep. I was working like a mug during the pandemic. I'm talking about working. So Right, right. It's just another day to me. So I, I gotta get to it. Man, can you explain the, the benefits of being an entrepreneur, having your own business? Uh, I will say the number one benefit for me is not having to ask anybody when my hours are, when I can leave to take a vacation, any of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I, I actually feel um, very empowered to be independent, you know what I mean, at this stage of my life because I've always actually uh, been an independent contractor but not an entrepreneur not my own actual business I just work as an independent contractor I don't know if a lot of people know what the difference between that is but um, yeah so I've been an independent contractor for over 10 years but being an entrepreneur is something totally different it's 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 it's, it's, it's making executive and boss moves and decisions you see what I'm saying which I wasn't really doing before I was working off of everybody else's schedule and everybody else's, you know. So yeah, that's my main thing about it. That's what I love about it the most. Man, to anybody wanting to get in cooking, just wanting to be a chef, what type of advice would you give? Um, I would say if you can't boil your water, just forget about it. And <laughs> oh my gosh! And then uh. Now anything you put your mind to, you can do it. That's my real. That's my real advice. It does take hard work and sacrifice. It so does. It don't. It do. It takes a lot of burns, a lot of <laughs> it spills, a lot of sure burns. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth because it. when you look back from three years or five years ago, where you came from. And you see the growth, mm -hmm. see the development, and it helps when you look on your social media and they bring up your memories and you see how far you came. Like I look at my prices from three years ago, I was selling ribs for like ten dollars. Ribs now is like twenty five dollars. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So yeah, I definitely see uh, the change. I definitely see the growth. Yeah, yeah. the change is what makes us better. It makes us keep going. Mm -hmm. It makes us stronger too. Mm -hmm. That's true. 
thing is, we just uh, can't remain complacent. We have to just keep changing, evolving. Yeah, yeah, keep going. You yeah, know, like, you got to. Sounds like you just can't be satisfied. Don't uh-huh. You know uh-huh. It is. It is. It is. It's that. That's what I was saying earlier about that drive. Yeah, it, you gotta have that drive because if you don't, you're gonna be in park. And I ain't trying to be in park. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be in park. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't want to be stalled at the light. <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to sit and step still. Mm-hmm. Stepping it up each time. Mm-hmm. And I believe our competition isn't anybody else, but it's ourselves. Definitely so. Definitely so. I just want to be better than I was yesterday. Yeah. That's it. Very yeah. true. I ain't in competition with nobody. I have no reason to be. We, it's enough out here for all of us to get it. It really is. It's more than enough, really. We live in America. Right. We throw away more food than we give away. You know what I mean? And it's sad, but it's the truth. So, yeah. That's true. I, I hear a lot of people talking about America. We waste. Yeah. We waste a lot. Yeah. In America, we waste a yes. lot. Yeah, so... There's a lot of food just going in the in the dumpster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they, the thing about America is they'll see. I don't know if I should say this on camera, but <laughs> they'll see a homeless person and still put the food in the trash right. instead of just giving it to them. And the homeless people smart though, because they'll go dumpster diving. And but why do they gotta go dumpster diving when you just walk past them and threw it in the trash? True, true. Common courtesy. Common yes, gratitude. exactly. If it was you, would you want somebody to walk past you and throw the food in the trash so you can go dumpster dive to get it out? I <laughs> think right. not. True, true. <laughs> it, it's just a common courtesy that people like. Nobody's compassionate. Nobody's don't have compassionate. No, 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 they don't have compassion for people. They're not. Nobody's they're not humble. They're not none of that right now. So it's a cold world. It definitely is. That was perfectly said. It, it's it's a cold world. And that's why it takes. Even busy. when it's in the summertime, it's still cold. Still cold. <laughs> Every day. Three sixty-five. Every day is cold. It's almost like you have to maintain your integrity mm-hmm. out here. You have to maintain your word. Yep. You have you to do. live what you stand by. Yep. Now I believe that's why most people, if not all people, respect you and respect your business because mm-hmm. you live what you stand by. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Thank you. Put your heart into it. You yeah, know. you too, though. You too. You right back at you. The feelings are mutual. Hey, you know, yeah. we're working out as real. Right. That's, that's all we've here. been doing this for a minute, though. Yeah, Look, yeah. we've been doing this for a while, so. How long have we been working together? Like, two years? Yeah, two, three. It's been three years. Damn. We've been working together three years. Three years, so that's how I've been saying a lot. Yeah, know? most and definitely so. See the growth. Yeah, see you, the, see the, you see the it. You see it. Mm-hmm. And um, like you said, people are never going the definition of insanity is uh, doing the same thing over and over and mm-hmm. expect the same results. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not going to work. It's not. Know? It's not. Well, it might be working for them. They they okay with it. If they okay with it. <laughs> Only if they okay. I, I feel like they okay with it, though. Yeah. Some you don't? Are, some people are okay they, I feel like they okay with it. Some they are. okay with being right where they at and staying right where they at and sure. not going nowhere. Sure. They I okay can't. with that. I can't knock it. They don't want it no other way. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying it's that different. <laughs> like, I can't knock it together. Yeah, there are people that are okay. We, we not knocking it. We just yeah. speaking on it, right? We speaking on it. That's we, it. We speaking on it. We are not it. knocking it. I, yeah. I don't have, I can't knock nobody for nothing. Whatever you want to do, do it. You know what I mean? More right. power to you. But don't expect for me to stay over there with you, though, while you're doing it. You right. know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm at the end of the block. No, so. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Right, right. Call me on my phone. I might answer. Then again, I might not since you're still back there on the porch. There you go. Man, you meet so many different people business-wise, customers-wise, mm-hmm. everything. Is there any particular client, person, customer that you met that like, really touched your heart so far? Uh, I think so. It's been like a couple of people. Yeah, it's been a couple. It's fun to talk about the impact they had on you and how they made you feel. Oh, okay. Well, 
One of them is this, uh, this elderly lady. She's really nice. But anytime the holidays come around, um, I always call her because she wants me to call her. But she always comes through on the holidays. And this lady, she's just so sweet. Like, she she purchases her food and buy me gifts at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, outside of the food. You know what I mean? And I'm like, why are you buying me gifts? But, yeah, so, uh, she's like, because I always hook her food up. But that's what she told me. But, uh yeah, that just touched my heart that people would even think to stop somewhere and buy me a gift before they come to purchase their food. You know what I mean? Like, that is amazing to me. Like, and yeah. she's not, it's, it's actually two women that would do me like that or whatever. Whenever they come and they uh, purchase any food for me, they always bring me a gift or they always buy me something or give me a card or something. They're not coming just to get their food. So, yeah, that impacts me. That's an impact for me. On them and on myself, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. I like how there's an emotional connection there mm -hmm. with you and your customers. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. They all like my uh, customer service too. Everybody loves my customer service. Yeah, I haven't had any real bad reviews. So. It, it's hard. Look at you. I mean, you're full of it <laughs> It's hard to dislike you. Like, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. The smile like a mommy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you make people feel welcome. You're, you're welcome. Don't you want to? Don't you? Don't you want to be welcome when you come somewhere? I want to be. Sure. I want to feel welcome when I come somewhere. I don't want people. Yeah. To, I don't want to feel like. When I'm coming towards you, it's, it's like, no, go the other way. Like, don't go up there. Because, yeah, you know, them vibes jump out to another person. Like like I was saying about the negativity. Yeah. That stuff jumps out to other people. It jumps out to, I don't want to jump it on to me. Right. Yeah, so I don't want to be walking towards a person. I see your bad energy or I see your bad vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm going to engage in it. No, I don't want to engage. I'm going to disengage and go the opposite direction. Dude, energy yes. is real. It when is. It's negative all it the time. Is. It can kind of be off of mm -hmm. you. You can kind of definitely so feel that negative energy rubbing off. You're like, damn, why do I feel this way? I just mm -hmm. feel happy until this person told me this. <laughs> and these are their problems. Exactly. Like, I was having a good day. Right. Like, wait, you tell me your problem. Now you, it's heavy on you. Yeah. And that's true. It's true. You can't yeah. let people unload on you all the time. Not all the time. No, no. I had to learn that. Yeah, sure. I had to learn that though, because I used to let people just dump, 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 dump on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'd be so drained trying to figure out why I'm so drained. I'm drained because I got all these other people's problems on my, on my heart and on my mind. You see what I'm yes, saying? Yes. And it ain't even having really nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful with that. Yeah. Some people do it for attention. Yeah. Because they're, they're lonely themselves, you know, so they But have to once they it. put their energy on you, they don't have it anymore. So they can go about their business feeling good. True. True. <laughs> yeah. So you got, that's why I say you got yeah. to be that transfer. It's that transfer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that transfer. So you got to be you careful. Be careful. Who, who you listen to. Who you have around you in your space. Yes. Yeah. All that. There's vultures out here that feed off of that. It's exactly. Just, that's exactly. Me. Exactly. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. I'm no, no. It, it's very mm -hmm. true. These are facts. In there. I'm not going <laughs> to say I, I'm not gonna say what I was thinking, but yeah. You just say. Uh-uh. No, no. We all know people like that. <laughs> we all know people like that. And it's almost like when you have a positive energy, a positive spirit. People use you for that. Yeah, you attract people like that. To a certain extent, so yep. you have to stay. They on your use toes. you for that, though. Yeah, sure. People sure. use you for your good energy. They use you for your prayer. They use you for whatever they can use you for at this point. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I don't think I mind people using me for prayer because I yes. don't mind praying for people. Mm -hmm. But it just make it make you look at people differently because if you didn't need prayer, would you be even calling me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Would you even be reaching out? If you didn't need something from me, some sure. type of release for you. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, yeah. this is very true. Energy is real, it spreads, it travels, and how we listen, it, it can affect our whole mood, it can affect everything. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like I said, we are nice people, but we also have to be careful who we listen to and who we transfer our energy yeah. to. 
Because they want to steal our positive Exactly, right? exactly. And we be walking around trying to figure out, like you said, why we feeling down and out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we, <are in> <laughs> right. we sad for them. Look, we don't even have nothing to be sad for ourselves about. We right. sad for them. Yeah. Someone like those type of people, you gotta just block off. Yeah. You, know, you have to. You got to. There, Everybody can't go way. with you. Everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. Everybody. <laughs> it's a sad truth. The girl only got five seats. <laughs> it's already four people here. Look, you might. We're gonna let Jesus be the fifth. <laughs> Y'all can't get in. Look, we're only human. We gotta let Jesus be. <laughs> give it to God. Don't give it to me. Exactly. Give it to God. Therefore, that's it. That's could you please? Could you please? Give it to God. You know, it's all about Jesus. I'm with Jesus. you. I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that don't know that, and you know, it's people are very manipulated. They so, are, and you just uh, once you know the signs, you can catch on to mm-hmm, it. But just mm-hmm. people that don't know it and allow that. Yes, and, and it's a, a a cycle. Yeah, it's sure. repeated over and over and over again until you just so drained from it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Wow, wow. Hey, <laughs> look, I'm keeping. Look, we both said it like. I know we are. <laughs> we both can win through it. Right. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. The thing is, we're keeping a positive energy. Uh, I see you excelling. I see you Thank dancing. You. Thank I you. I see the growth and development. Thank it's you. incredible. Thank you. You too. I'm impressed. You too. You too. Hey, you too. I'm trying to get you the ball away, both of us. And we got to keep striving. Yes. You know, this is only, still in the beginning. Mm-hmm. To me, Every day is day one. There is no finish line. Uh-uh. There's no uh-uh. finish line. Because uh-uh. uh-uh. when you see uh-uh. the finish line, you get too satisfied. Yeah, you do. You get comfortable. Mm-hmm. But maybe I need to get comfortable eventually once I get older, though. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, if you're an entrepreneur, you still, that don't mean that you still don't need to retire at some point. Sure, you know what I'm you saying? You got to retire. And then just relax. Relax. You can work all your life. Like, mm-hmm. come on now. It's time to, it's time to chill out. Try to chill out and enjoy the moment. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's one of the things about independent contractors, entrepreneurs. We have to watch ourselves because in the long run, we have to enjoy the moment. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Yeah, because you know, sometimes yeah. I catch myself like on vacation still working. You know what I'm saying? I just see myself do that a lot of times. Yeah. Like I'm actually on vacation, but ain't no vacation for no real hustler. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm on vacation on wherever I'm at. I'm, I'm on it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's one of the things you know. We're so like business minded, mm-hmm. oriented. Mm-hmm. Work, work, work. Yeah. It, it, it's that's exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Work, work, work. work. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere I go, I take my camera. Uh, right. Camera. <laughs> you know, you never know. Like, you don't. It's you don't know who you know. It is yeah. every day, all day long. It's an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And you can miss it just like that because you listen to somebody else and say, like, I'm with you. Right. Yeah. You listen to somebody else like, hey, don't, don't do bring it. Yeah. Hey, don't bring your cooking supplies to make it. Right. And then that when the best moments happen. Exactly. Like, Damn, I could have stood out right now. Damn. I could have shined like a diamond, but I listened to this rock. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had situations like that. Too. <laughs> we did. Yeah, I should. So. Yeah, I should not <laughs> listen to them. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, I agree. In this field, mm. it's just your mind is going. It's constantly going, constantly moving, constantly thinking about creative thoughts. So you're never, it's almost like you're never at a standstill. No, you're not. So when you look at people on a standstill, you're looking like, what are you doing? Right. It, it doesn't seem I, do, I really want to know what are they doing? That's why they can be on social media as much as they are. That's why they can do it because they just got too much time on their hands. Yeah. Uh, they can be on social media and just scrolling, looking at TikTok That's what I'm saying, videos. but not even, and that's what they do, or watching people eat um, crab legs on YouTube. Yeah. People yeah. actually watch that like for entertainment. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so it's um you got too much time on your hands. It's a person. I don't got time to watch nobody eat no crab legs on YouTube. I'm yeah. making the crab legs. Yeah, we making it. <laughs> we, we the one making it. We, 
With a character. I ain't got time. I can make it. I can make it, yeah. yeah. I watch myself eating them when they done. Yeah, 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 yeah. As far as I'ma go. There you go. You can take as far as I'ma go. Pretty much. Right. <laughs> pretty much. You know, like, as I'ma like, go. This is just how our society is. I, I think it's been trapped with social media and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like, it's one big trap that keeps you hooked on your phone. Mm-hmm. And it actually keeps you unproductive as well. Mm-hmm. Where you're living in this fantasy reality where you're seeing all these people with the lavish lifestyles. Cars. And it really ain't lavish. It ain't. They be sad and sick and all kind of stuff going wrong with them people. I'm sure mentally, uh, they said the worst, uh, in this book I was reading, it said the worst failure in the world is to be successful and yeah. not be happy. Yeah. And uh, and majority of the people who are successful are not happy. The majority. The majority. If you actually do some research on it, the majority of them, most of them are suicidal, depressed, all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I don't want to be successful, but I want to be happy while I'm successful. I don't want to be just successful and miserable. Right. And I don't even go to get it. I don't want to lose my dignity or self respect. I don't want to be who I am. Yeah, yeah. But you know, usually they say, uh, for the people to be really successful, how they want to be that, you got to give up, you got to sacrifice something that you can't come back from, type. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure. So, I don't know. Only God knows. Only God knows. (laughs) Only God. (laughs) We have to keep Only our Only God knows. Yeah. I ain't gonna worry about it. I know I'm gonna be successful, but I ain't gonna be miserable. Okay? I know that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I refuse to be that. I refuse. If it's draining my energy or draining my principle of life, you are dismissed. <laughs> no Class is over. Yeah. Look. Class is over. I'm walking you heard the bill. Time yeah. to go. A lot of people don't know when to walk away. Right. <laughs> They don't. They don't. Like, you can stay in this paradox. You can stay in the cycle of mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to be there with you. Can't. You can't. I'm not. You can't. You're moving forward to the future. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You got to be moving forward. Yeah. If you ain't moving forward, you either stand still or going backwards. And a lot of people go backwards too. I've been seeing that a lot. All the time. Yeah. The trapped in an illusion. Yes. Going backwards. I'm like, how are you getting older? But not getting more knowledge, not getting more wisdom. How are you getting older and you getting more ignorant? I don't understand that. Yeah, it's going backwards. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's what like I'm saying. Going like, like to their childhood. Yeah. And then you don't want. I to know, miss. like a handful of people that they act, they acted more mature in their younger ages mm-hmm. than now in their. I'm not gonna say golden ages, but now in their older ages, yeah. they 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 are. Totally child mind, child like minded. Yeah, like for real. Is there a reason why they're like that? I don't, I'm not a psychiatrist. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. I have no we don't know. Look, we I don't think we should scratch our brain trying to figure it out. Look, right, that is right. not us. That's that is not, not us. That's not us. It's not. It, 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 it. Hire a psychiatrist. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't want to be no psychiatrist. Right. Dealing with, I already deal with enough. Right, right. Uh, different personalities. Look, hey, you want to do what we're good at? Chef, cameraman. That's it. That's it. Leave it at that. Look, right. Right. Leave it at that. All that extra, you yeah. can save it. Hey, if I gotta be a psychiatrist, I'm gonna have to pay you. Man, you know, I'm you know, busy. All right, hey. Hey, I'm still waiting on my check. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like now, you know. <laughs> I'm waiting on. Hey, our time, our time is something valuable, and time is something you cannot can get, get back. back. Like, That's one thing you can't hold. You, you can't take it for granted. Because if you take it for granted, it's just lost. It's lost. You're Some lost. People know what a loss, what a loss is. That means you can't get it back. It's done. Valuable. Uh, importance in time in general. Time wasted. That's something that I tell people all the time. If you t- waste my time, I can't, no. can't deal with you. I can't fool with you. You just can't. Uh-uh. That's even with business customers. If you waste a customer's time, and we already know how bad you don't know how many. Too. Well, yeah, you do know. Because people will waste your time in your business. Oh, sure. I've had plenty of people do me. Mm-hmm. Yep, so. 
But this year, I'm charging for my time. You have to. Just so y'all know. It's bad. Even if I'm even if I'm gonna quote you, you gonna have to pay me. Yeah, true. Yeah. Because I have to do all the research to figure out what it's gonna cost you, what it's gonna do to not it. Yeah. And that cost me my time. Mm-hmm. And I need to get reimbursed for my time. If I was working at a job, I would. So yeah. I'm working for myself, which means I am working a job, which means yes. I'm gonna need to be paid. Yes. So reimbursement. I mean, they got it. They always at McDonald's and all the other places. They got it. Right. They got it. <laughs> they got it. Really, this is healthier than McDonald's. Most definitely so. Get a lot of your lean natural protein. Yep. Your fiber intake with the vegetables. Yeah. It's a lot more. Healthier. <laughs> so it is not. It is not that fake food. That processed food yes. that you get from McDonald's. So yeah, I agree. You're not gonna be hungry two hours. No, later you're not. No, you're not. You're gonna be sleep two hours later. <laughs> you ain't even thinking about. I'm not gonna lie. That's what happened to me when I got my spirit. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I went to sleep. I went to sleep. Yeah, that's my husband. He go to sleep every time I feed him. Oh, sure. I started to stop feeding him over that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. like, I ain't feeding you no more. You ain't gonna do nothing but go to sleep. Look. Well, I, 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 I gotta feed him. That's my baby. Yeah, yeah. I gotta feed him. That's heavy. Right, I gotta be. I'm gonna say food is addictive in general. Like right? it's an addictive drug. Yeah, you look at it. Yeah, everybody that's seen my 600 pound life, everybody has seen that. Oh yes, yes. We know food is a is a deadly drug. Everybody knows it. It's deadly. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. But it ain't really. It's your intake. It, I, I tell people this all the time. People say, "Oh, it's what you eat." Da, da, da. It's really not. It's really not your not what you eat. It's your intake on it because you can eat too much of something, mm-hmm. and that's what makes you sick, or that's what causes like he- long term health problems. Sure. If you eat, say you can't eat steak. Okay, you can't eat steak. You can eat steak once or twice a month, and that will not affect you in the same way that if a person eats steak four or five or six or seven times a month you see what i'm saying you're not going to have the same results because you're not your intake isn't the same mm-hmm. yeah so i don't think people sometimes realize that i mean i know i understand like some people just don't like meat that's fine or some people just don't like this or that that's fine as well but it also has to do with your intake it's which is how much you eat of something it's not what you're eating it really is what how much of it that you eat yeah your so, calorie deficit. yeah yeah if you know something is bad for you, you just try to try to cut back on what's bad for you. You know what I mean? Try to cut back on it until you eventually gradually get down to where you want to be with it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Since you want to gradually get down where you want to be to it and then maintain that. And maintain status, that. Yep. Eat That's healthy, it. maintain a good diet, yep. exercise. Yep. And, uh, no, you know all about it. All the muscles you got. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a health freak. I'm not as good as you. Oh, I'm doing a lot of my own kicking. I stopped eating processed food. I stopped okay. eating McDonald's. Yeah, I, see, I had my husband stop eating McDonald's uh, eight, nine years ago. I told yeah. him, don't eat that stuff no more. You ain't even eat that stuff. It's, it's gonna make you sick. You ain't gonna know why you sick. It's uh, empty calories. There's no real protein. Yeah, in. it's not. It's nothing. Sick. <laughs> Nothing. You're not, eat- you're not eating anything. You're not eating. Yeah, you're not eating empty calories. You're not eating anything. Mm-mm. Uh, and, well, you it's are not healthy. Not. It's just not healthy. I don't even feel like that food is really uh made to be processed through our uh digestive system. It's not. Real. It's not. Cause like I did some research on it, it's like it's not good for your digestive system. That's why a lot of people are obese from eating it. That's mm-hmm. why, like, cause it doesn't break down properly like it's supposed to, mm-hmm. or any of that. So yeah, it's I haven't that. I haven't ate McDonald's in over twenty years, so I wouldn't I wouldn't know. You wouldn't touch no. it. No, <laughs> I don't even look that way when I drive past. My right. head is straight my straight ahead tunnel vision. What's crazy, like being in the fitness field and you're being a chef, we look past these fast food restaurants like it really has no effect. It don't. don't. Yeah. Like, even some of these restaurants, I'm looking like, I can make something better than yes. this. Yes. Go somewhere else. Yes. And, you know, I go, and I go to your kitchen, your business, exactly. and get something just as good. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And be satisfied with it. Sure. sure. Yeah. It's, yeah. And won't be disappointed at all. Won't be disappointed. Right. <laughs> and we'll go to sleep afterwards. And we'll go to sleep afterwards. And right. feel a lot healthier. Mm-hmm. A lot leaner. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. The proper nutrition, the proper protein is going into your muscles. Yes. It's yes. beneficial. Yes. It's, yes. Like, it's beneficial. Beneficial mm-hmm. in your everyday life if you expect to live long. Yeah, if you expect to live long. That's true. That's true. Because now it's like me and my husband, we don't eat out a lot. Now people might see us on social media like, yes, they do. They always at the restaurant. No, we don't eat fast food. We don't eat stuff like that. We, yeah. And majority of the time, my husband, he eats very healthy. Sure. But me, on the other hand, I'm working on it. Don't, nah, don't look, judge me. Don't judge me. Hey, look. Both, <laughs> both of y'all look fantastic. <laughs> thank, you. Both of y'all thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm working on mine. Yeah. I feel a double chin coming on. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> I feel a double chin. I just turned. I just turned uh, twenty-five and look. <laughs> oh, twenty-five. Oh, wow! Look at you. <laughs> I just turned twenty-five and I think I'm coming off with a little something. <laughs> How did it feel when you turned twenty-five? <laughs> It feels great. <laughs> I feel wonderful. I just turned 25 on the 27th of December. I feel wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm young, vibrant, and free. Look. You, look, you look great and your energy is there. You thank know, you. There's thank a you. lot of people around this age that... Thank you. Even 25. Yeah. Are <laughs> just, you be like, hell, are you 50, yeah. 60? <laughs> Mm, I ain't made it that no, far yet. No energy. <laughs> no energy, look. No, no energy. energy. So, I ain't, I I don't ain't know. I, I the on yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to put the Bengay it, on yet. Right. It, it's a mind, body, and spirit connection. Yeah. You have to be so. level-headed in your mind, body, and spirit. Mm-hmm. The, the body controls the mind. You are your body. Mm-hmm. So you are what you eat. But you are what you think too. Mm-hmm. So That's talk, true. We talk about all this in the energy, right? People can drain your energy. Yeah. Bad food can drain your health. Yes, it can. It, bad food can bad, drain your energy too. Yeah. If you always feeling sluggish or whatever, that it's usually only time I usually feel like that is when I eat like a lot of pork, and I oh, yeah. cut back on that a lot. Like yeah. I can't eat pork like I used to. Mm-hmm. When I even was, um, I think on Thanksgiving. And on Christmas, I didn't eat no ham because I, I didn't have no desire for it. Yeah. And I was like, well, I usually like tear the ham up, but I, I was like, nah, I don't even have a desire to eat it. So, you yeah, know what I mean? Sure. But I'm pretty sure that's why I was feeling good the next day because I didn't eat all that stuff. I didn't that's eat good. all that stuff that make you feel sluggish like that. That's actually a good feeling when you're able to have that self-discipline mm-hmm. to deny the food. Mm-hmm. That's it. Believe it or not, I had got fat at one point. In time. <laughs> and I, I can not believe fat. Well, a little bit. It was all fat for me. I was eating a whole bunch of fast food, and mm-hmm. I had, you know, I just got too comfortable to mm-hmm. some extent. And I had to cut it out, and I had to display some discipline, start reading more mm-hmm. about it, mm-hmm. and start reading about more about cooking, yeah. taking care of myself. Yeah. And we are getting older, so we have to do yeah. it. It's, it's yeah, 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 it's Sincerity. essential. You got to do it. Yeah. yeah, most definitely so. I agree. Yes. So we're reaching the closing of this interview. It's been a great interview. <laughs> and it's been a great I interview. agree, I agree. And I'll have to have you for another one. <laughs> okay. Another one. For real. We can, do it. Chef we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. You know I'm here for it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Interview coming out soon, y'all be on the lookout. Yeah, 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 most definitely so. Kitchen in the building. Thank you for having me. Any closing statements you want to add? Um, I just want to say thank you to all my supporters, all my family. Thank you to my husband. Um, And most of all, thank you to God because I wouldn't be nowhere without him. But uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. Love you all.